Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com. In this video, we'll take a look at how we can rotate uh, ordinary HTML content with our Live Rotator module. If you haven't taken a look at our Getting Started video for Live Rotator, I strongly recommend you to do that first. All right, let's begin. I'm already logged in, so I'm going to go ahead and drop an instance of Live Rotator module to the page. All right, now that we have the Live Rotator module on the page, I'm going to go ahead and click Manage Slides. I want to add a content slide, not an image. And like I said, if you if you want to see how to do uh, images or integration, check out the other videos. So for this video, we're just going to go ahead and click on Add Content. I have some dummy text already here in the notepad that I'm going to just type in. So it saves me from uh, typing. And so I'm just going to type in here, Laura Mipsum, just giving it a title. And uh, I'm just going to copy all this text into the slide right here. A description is not mandatory, so I'm just going to leave that there for now. I'm going to hit, hit Add, and I can see that uh, my slide appears here, and I can click on the slide here to edit content and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and add another one. So here's the content, and I'm just going to take the first few words as the title. Go ahead and add that one as well. We'll go ahead and do one more. So there we go, and I'll take that as my title. So we have three different slides added with a bunch of different HTML content. So um, w this is just any arbitrary HTML content. We're not limited to text. You can go ahead and add images, tables, style it the way you want it, change fonts, colors, even add embed tags so you can show YouTube videos and so forth. So it's completely up to you what you want to do here. I'm going to go ahead and hit back. And as it stands right now, we have already uh, a rotator with some width and height, which is not looking very nice. So let's go ahead and click on Options. I like to bring the Options in. So because we know we have a lot of content, so let's go ahead and make the width at least 400 pixels. And I can just go do that directly here. And uh, it's rotating. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give some padding so it looks a little bit nicer. And because the background co color is not uh, going very well with our uh, text color, I'm going to go ahead and change that as well. So let me bring the uh, designer here so you can see the background color window. And I'm going to make it a lighter color. And make it a little bluish right there. That, that's, that's probably nice. So just keep it that way. Uh, I want some rounded corners. I'm going to go ahead and maybe 15 pixels worth of rounded corners. So that looks much better. I probably don't want that much height. So I'm going to go ahead and take it down to just about there. And uh, it's uh, it's right now fading in. I think I need a little bit more height to accommodate the other content right here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Uh, let's just call it even 100 pixels. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and change. I don't want it to be rotating every four seconds. I want it to do it maybe every two seconds so we can see it much better. And I don't want it to fade in and out. I would rather have it scroll left every time. So let's see how that would look. Much nicer. So there we have it. Creating a rotator using contents just as easy with, any, with images or anything else. And you're not limited to just typing in your own content. Uh, you can integrate uh, with your own SQL queries or with our live content or live gallery modules which are sold separately. So in a nutshell that's what it is uh, working with HTML content with Live Rotator. Uh, if you like what you see just hit save changes and that's it. Uh, Rotator is ready. If you have any concerns or questions do let us know on our website and thank you for watching the video.